Mastering the Art of Storing Leftovers Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we'll be discussing a very important topic, storing leftovers. This is something we all do, whether we're cooking for one or a large family. Understanding how to talk about this in English will not only help you improve your language skills but also help you navigate your way in English-speaking environments. First things first, let's learn some common vocabulary and phrases related to storing leftovers. 1. Leftovers. The food that remains after a meal. For example, I have some leftovers from dinner. 2. Store. To put away for future use. For example, please store the leftovers in the fridge. 3. Refrigerator or fridge. An appliance that is used to store food at a cold temperature. For example, I'll put the leftovers in the refrigerator. 4. Container. A receptacle such as a box or a jar in which you can store things. For example, I need a container for these leftovers. 5. Reheat. To heat something again. For example, I'll reheat the leftovers for lunch tomorrow. 6. Food safety. The proper handling, preparation, and storage of food to prevent foodborne illness. For example, you should consider food safety when storing leftovers. Remember to use these words and practice these phrases. The more you use them, the better you will understand their context. Now that we've learned the key vocabulary, let's use them in sentences to describe the process of storing leftovers. 1. After dinner, I usually pack the leftovers in a container. 2. I need to store these leftovers in the fridge to keep them fresh. 3. For food safety, Make sure to store leftovers in the refrigerator within two hours. 4. It's important not to leave leftovers at room temperature for too long. 5. Tomorrow, I will reheat these leftovers for lunch. Great work! Now, let's put all of this into a small conversation. Person A. What do you usually do with the leftovers after dinner? Person B. I usually store them in the fridge. What about you, person A? Same here. I also pack them in containers and put them in the refrigerator for food safety. Person B? Yes, that's a good habit. I usually reheat the leftovers for lunch the next day. That's it for today's lesson on storing leftovers. It's a simple, everyday topic. But the vocabulary and phrases you learned today are incredibly useful. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try to use these words and phrases as much as you can in your daily conversations. Thank you for joining us, and see you in our next lesson.